All right, so we're here for our pages planning sync. Um, in our last meeting, we just went through all of the pages work that's in flight in regard to the re-architecture. And then we touched on some future looking priorities for GitLab pages. So I just wanted to kind of uh, get an update on the API rollout. I have been following some stuff on the GitLab pages channel, but I see that you also have a new blocker from Infra. So love to hear some more about that. Yeah. Um... Actually, I didn't spend much time on this uh, over the last two weeks. Uh, and Jagosh and uh, Amar was mostly working on this one. Uh, yeah, basically we hit the rate limit uh, on the API nodes. Uh, and then Amar, we wanted to wait until we resize the API fleet first. And we resized it like yesterday. So then he started and then he has some, some other blockers. He finally resolved it a couple hours uh, uh, before, and now he waits on us to give him uh, some script to test uh, the rate limit on staging first. Uh, so yeah, right after this meeting, I guess I will uh, go and maybe help him with that. Uh, yeah, right after uh, we, so the idea was to test this on staging, then test this uh, in production, and then finally, uh, go and uh, 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 I don't know, uh, uh, roll out uh, pages API to bigger, higher percentage than we have at the moment. Uh, so hopefully all this can happen tomorrow, maybe on Thursday. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, in the ideal world this week, we can hit 100%. I don't believe in that, but in the ideal world, this is possible. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's about the API rollout. Yeah, I wanted to uh, like discuss the deprecation one more time. Yeah. The way I understand it uh, is like uh, we need to make everything works like uh, to allow people to switch to like new feature or something uh, before the, the 13 dot before the major release, then mm -hmm. on major release, we make this deprecation, uh, message, but we're not removing anything. And then like three months later, we remove in the feature, but, uh, how th this is how I understand it. And if uh, we, we are not able, uh, to deprecate it on 13.0, that basically means that we need to support this disk storage for another year. Then we can deprecate it on 14.0 and then we can remove it like on 14.4 or something like that. This is how I understand it at the moment. Is that correct or? Yeah, so there's apparently two approaches to it. So if a feature um, is introduced, just as you said it, we announce that this is something that will be available. Uh, it'll be available on the major release date then we can also announce at the major release date that this feature will be marked as deprecated and will end support of it, meaning we'll actually remove it in the next major release, which is exactly what you said. So we can announce deprecation and availability of the new feature in the major milestone of this year, and then remove support of the feature in the following milestone. Okay, so in the, file majoring, in the following major release, not the following milestone. Sorry. Okay, so basically, we still need to announce this on 13.0. Yes. Okay, and you need uh, uh, this deprecation message by the end of today, but basically in a couple hours. Well, um, the deprecation message, um, since depends on if the new feature is available. So if the new feature isn't going to be available until 13.0, um, then we can potentially announce in 13.0 that the new feature is available and that we're going to continue support of the disk source and we're going to deprecate the disk source in 14.0. So that's, we don't necessarily have to announce the new feature in 12.10. Okay. So given that given that we're not gonna we're not gonna and we're not gonna remove the functionality, we're only gonna be announcing the new feature and announcing that the that this will be deprecated. 
Okay. It's probably better if I just explain why I'm asking. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we have this, uh, we have a few merge requests, like three of them, uh, which Jaime was working on, which allow this like uh, opt out method of switching to the new API source, right? I saw that. Uh, and they are not merged, uh, not any of them, I guess, or one of them got merged today, I'm not sure. Uh, so basically, if today we will, we will like deprecate something, I don't know. I'm not sure if it will really be ready. It, it should be ready. We should merge it like tomorrow or maybe a couple of days later. But uh, and it will be in 12.10 probably. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I don't know. So here's but it why. Will make it. But actually. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, given that I I, uh, I was the same as Nathan, I saw that uh, 12.10 ends tomorrow, not the week after. So actually, if we will merge all these free MRs and we still have a week, uh, so we can test it in production. I mean, if we will finish rollout this week or maybe Monday, uh, then we can actually even uh, deprecate this source on 13.0 if like in the ideal world again. Uh, I mean, yeah, if we merge all these three MRs like tomorrow uh, and rollout goes well, uh, and in Monday we decide that, okay, it's actually ready. We, we tested it on .com and everything uh, is fine there. And we have this opt-out switch uh, for users. So then we can announce on 13.0 that, hey, we deprecate this, you have this switch now. Uh, we actually need to announce the switch in 12.10, but right. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess what I need to do is basically to give you some uh, text about how new switch works. Uh, and you you don't uh, do you need to merge it today, or you can merge it like we, later. We we'll merge um, for the 12.10 release post it'll go out on the 22nd. So really the release post ends up getting a lot of changes between now and the 22nd. So we have okay. like a, a big runway. The biggest um, like catch there is that typically um, the release post manager likes to have all the content approved and merged into our draft uh, post by the 17th so that we can okay. get review so, from marketing, all that stuff. Yeah, but we can then, if we want to, we can uh, get it back, like remove this from release if we will exactly. not. Uh, okay, right. okay, cool. Then uh, I guess I will just work on this. Uh, if you can, can you send me like s a simple template of the I'll, release post? I'll, I'll create the MR right now actually, and you okay. and I can iterate on it and we can just okay. create the content on that. And then we can assign Suzanne to review it from the tech writer point of view and. Okay, cool. There. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, and then we even have chance to duplicate it on the 13.0. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the same uh, same thing was about the Let's Encrypt. I also saw that I don't have time uh, to get it done, but actually we have a week. Uh, it's not fully merged yet, but if I get everything merged tomorrow, I will have a week to test it in production. And then, yeah, just merge the last piece uh, next Tuesday, let's say. Uh, so yeah, it still have a chance to make it in 12.10. I because I didn't why, understand the re deadline, right? <laughs> I know. I wonder why we thought that that, uh, or I wonder why that happened. Um. <laughs> I, I guess someone just, uh, the last week on, tu uh, on the our release team meeting, someone just told that it was the next Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, uh, and yeah. we all saw that way. I don't know. Funny. Uh, okay. That's perfect. Or maybe uh, like everyone is bad, like me and Nathan are bad with calendars. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. It could have been that we were just, um, we kind of conflated the, re the release post deprecation needs with the- crash. Yeah, that is that, also that, possible. That probably could have been where like we were overlapping there. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I have. Uh, okay, perfect. Um, so as far as 
what you what do you think um, in between announcing this and actually removing the feature set uh, if we could make the case that we would want to not maintain this for another year after we announce the availability of the new architecture so i just wanted to get your thoughts on that um, would this be something that we would the disk source that is make it available to people and then deprecate the disk source before 14.0 we and and remove it we can we can make that choice and we can make that case i am concerned about supporting yeah, yeah. two methods for a long time right two methods of pages yeah i see um i don't know first of all it's kind of a big deprecation mm -hmm. i mean if we just remove it in the usual milestone and user updates uh the gitlab uh and I don't know, not everybody uh, read the release notes ex except for this deprecation uh, messages. So I guess some people may be surprised and very negatively surprised with us doing this. Uh, the other point is that actually, like everybody wants to remove this code, but uh, right now I can say, I mean, removing this code is actually another work we need to do it's uh, like it's another refactoring and it's not that simple it's not like one day um, so i mean and i don't really know how much uh problems this tech debt will actually create so maybe actually supporting it for another year isn't that bad maybe it's okay and maybe we will not touch this code j just will not touch it for this whole year and i don't know it will not uh, slow us down that much so, yeah it's actually hard to tell right now and yeah I, I see the big problem with us doing it not on a major release so okay so we'll stick with for this particular deprecation and removal having it being on the major release cadence that's okay um, what i would like us to do is make sure that we understand um, the bugs in the backlog and what it means to fix them in the new architecture versus on the old architecture. So for all the things that are currently in the pages bug backlog, as yeah. I start to prioritize them, are we gonna only fix them on the new architecture and not on the old one? Or are we gonna have to have like double the MRs to implement it on the old architecture and the new? No, no I think, uh... I think there is like difference between like deprecation and removal. We, I guess we can deprecate in the sense that guys to, in order to fix this issue, if you have it, you need to go and uh, switch to the new uh, way of uh, configuring pages. Uh, and then you, this issue will be resolved. Uh, so for old uh, architecture, we don't need to fix that. And at this, mm -hmm. I think we can do in any milestone. So basically, it's like recommending a workaround. Uh, we don't need to wait for a major release for this. Yeah. Yeah. Also, while while I have this thought in my head, uh, it's like it actually will be super nice uh, to have maybe some issue or something uh, in the like through the major releases to collect the stuff we want to deprecate because. Uh, I just noticed on our team meeting agenda that Kras uh, posted a couple of uh, issues in the deprecation marks uh, related to pages. And actually, like I, I believe we have much more of them, but it's kind of hard to remember all of them right now. Yeah. Basically, I, we have some, for example, configuration parameters and pages which marked as deprecated, but still you can still use them. They will do nothing. But I understand. Okay. So yeah, we can. I'll create an issue in our release management project right now. Um, yeah, just I mean, to land all of that. Yeah, I mean, like even for fourteen dot oh, just to issue to collect all this yeah. stuff for the future. So, like year after, we can just go through them. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that right now. So more like just release management deprecation list. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you wanted so, to say something? Yeah, yeah I think what I'm. What I, what I don't know is when I look at, like, let's say a let's encrypt bug or an error bug that's currently in the planning board and that I'm like about to assign to somebody in a way, should I be making notes in the proposal that we need to consider 
if this is something that we should fix on the old architecture and the new architecture or if the recommendation is just going to be for everybody that's on the old architecture in order to receive this fix you should upgrade to the new one i just want to make sure that i'm able to advise like account teams and in the users of pages that we're no longer going to be deploying bug fixes on the old side on the old source um, or if this is like a strategic grooming opportunity where we go through the bugs and we say all of these bugs are going to get resolved by the new architecture which i think we have another issue out there today it might need to be like groomed a little bit to like kind of have that be published as a source of truth basically uh, i just don't want us to be duplicating effort when we do maintain these yeah. two sites and i want or these two sources and but i do want to be able to provide prescription to the people with accounts that are using pages that yeah just go to the new new configuration and you'll avoid this problem yeah I, what i would do is actually first of all we have this couple issues like first for api rollout second for uh like object storage uh implementation right so basically i would mark all these uh, bugs which should be resolved by these issues as blocked by those two and once we have it done have them done like uh rollout api uh, makes it dep deprecated uh even if it's not a major release i would just close these issues and like write the big warning big workaround section in the like on top of the issue like if you want to have this fixed, just update uh, and add the link to documentation about updates into API configuration source. That's what I would do. Okay, got it. Okay. And again, like with this opt-out approach, we will basically switch most of the users to the architecture. Right, Quite fast. so it won't really matter um, for most. Yeah. Unless if they intentionally opt out, then really that's like, hey, yeah, you just gotta move, sorry. <laughs> no, they uh, also, if you have pages on the separate server, this opt out becomes opt in actually. Oh. Because uh, our pre-flight check will detect that, yeah, we have a different uh, access key, like password for API, so we can't use it. Got it. Look at you. You guys are so smart. So glad you're on my team. <laughs> okay. Um, all righty. What else? I have nothing else. Okay. John, do you have anything? Nope. Uh, just kind of listening in today. Thanks. Yeah, I think, um, John, what I could use help with on this mm -hmm. is either some wrangling um, of all of the issues that we feel like are going to be resolved by the pages re-architecture yeah. um, okay. so that I can go through and make note that hey, this will be solved by the re-architecture in order to resolve this problem, you know, opt-in or upgrade to the new, to the new source, new method, new configuration. Yep. This is the part that like is, is giving me a little bit of heartburn is how can we be helpful to these people <laughs> proactively? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper's hand. He's trying I know, to jump I see up it. <laughs> How can we be proactive for these users? Um, sure. I'm, just, I'm just worried that we're not, uh, yeah, we're just <clears throat> okay. going to be misleading people. And um, I can also talk to Suzanne uh, from a tech writer perspective that this makes sense to have, like, as its own section inside the docs so people understand, like, all of these issues related to the re-architecture are going to get solved by you upgrading or opting in or whatever. Yep. I mean, we still will need to, we'll need some section in the docs just with a description of how to uh, move to the new architecture. Okay. Basically with this opt-out approach and with the migration plan, if you have a different servers. Got it. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I was referring to when I said a link to documentation. Right, I agree. 
Yeah, so I, we can talk more about that, John, too, in our one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but yeah, sure. It'll just be helpful to have somebody else to verify that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. I'm not sure if that's how you spell wrangling. I read it like you would write Jeep Wrangler. So. Yeah, that's, okay. that's it. That's exactly how you do it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you all. Let me know if you need anything in the meantime, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thanks for a good day. Bye.